This is Brett Waltemath of Starwatch Media here at Arclight Cinemas Hollywood for the second season premiere screening of Femme Fatales. Hi. Hi, can I have a couple minutes with you? How are you? Doing well, how are you? Good, thank you. Brett with Starwatch Media, it's a pleasure to speak with you. Nice to meet you. We're here at the second season uh, yes. cast and crew screening of Femme Fatales. Now you play the role, pardon me for checking my notes, the role of Nicole Ryan, who is a mob boss. Obviously. Yeah, tell us, tell us a little bit about that one. Um, Nicole Ryan inherits the business from her father, Leland Ryan, um, who was in the first season. And um, I wreak havoc, as mob bosses do. Now, now, and you play a lot of bad girls, but I believe you've been quoted saying that you don't usually play bad girls that are in control, that this was kind of a new experience for you, playing a boss that kind of is running the show a little bit. Right, I'm usually like the bad girl that's the party girl that gets into trouble, not so much the girl that's running the show. Um, it's an interesting change. I think it has a little bit to do with getting a little bit older, you know. <laughs> do you enjoy playing those kind of roles? Do you seek them out or? I don't seek them out, but uh, I, they come to me a lot. I think mostly because um, I have kind of a mischievous look. Um, little bitchy characters, but not really. Like I, I'm, I'm such a nice person in person that it's, it's funny. I don't, I don't never seek them out, but they seem to come to me. Signs of a good actress. Yes, yes, they're very fun though. What, what was your reaction when you first heard about Femme Fatales? When you just heard about the premise of the show, what was your reaction to first hearing? <laughs> well, I really loved the premise of the show. Um, since it's an anthology show, I think it gives them a lot of room to do a lot of things creatively, which a lot of sh other shows don't get to do. And um, having each episode, having one woman who's in charge and, and in power, that, that's amazing feeling. Well, and you know, it's a show where the stereotype of it is that it's just a guy's show. It's all a guy's show, but a lot of women have said, no, it's very empowering, and it shows the sensuality of women as well as the empowerment of women as well. What's kind of your take on that, on it being stereotypically considered a guy's type of show? Right. Well, it's very soft and sexy, so it's not, it's, I wouldn't say it's stereotypically a guy's show. I mean, there is a woman in power. Um, there is some sexy scenes, but um, I think I've actually heard uh, from some source that, it, that it's about 51% to 49% viewership, women to men, so it's not really that far off, which is great. <laughs> Other projects for you currently and upcoming projects as well? Um, right now I'm just auditioning and working on a couple of things with friends. Um, I'm doing some writing and that's it. <laughs> and. Um, as far as your writing goes, do you see your career transitioning more into screenwriting or will acting always be a major part of your career? Acting will always be a major part of my career. I'm interested in, in writing as far as to write things for myself and, and other creative outlets, but I'm not really, I, I, I'm here for the long haul as far as acting goes. <laughs> what are your favorite types of genres to write and what's your writing style? Um, well, my favorite kind of thing, I'm a big sci-fi geek, like sci-fi and horror fan, so everything um, that I'm interested in writing is, is dramatic and sci-fi and scary and yeah. Well, really quickly, we got to ask, what are your favorite? What are some of your favorite sci-fi and horror films? What do you like? Um, well, actually, um, my all-time favorite horror film, or film in general, is Shaun of the Dead, which is an amazing film. It's funny and and in that same vein, um, my friend James Gunn um, directed a movie called Slither, and it's a really really funny, scary, gore movie and I love that I love um, I love mixing the humor and the scary and the bloody gory that's right up my alley <laughs> it was such a pleasure speaking with you thank you so much for the time and enjoy the screening